Hey everybody, it's Barton Holmes with Yamaha Marine Center and Holmes and Owen Yacht Sales. Today we have listed a 2021 Regulator 26XO. Very popular boat, very difficult to get your hands on. Uh, we uh, Yama at Yamaha Marine Center are a dealer for Regulator and uh, we have this late model boat that's come onto the market. Uh, under 30 hours, I believe it's 28 hours on the boat. Uh, this is a complete package, so this Ameritrail trailer will go with the boat. Um, up here on the bow, we have got this Minn Kota Altera 72 inch 36 volt trolling motor. Uh, of course, it has the remote control, it has auto deploy, which is that box there on the end of the shaft. Uh, this is in the Laguna Blue with the white bottom, very attractive. Uh, this uh, boat we sold to a local local person. Um, the boat has been kept in dry storage, covered dry storage, not on this trailer. So, um, so it's really in great shape, very nice shape, very low hours. Come back to the stern here. This is the 425 Yamaha um, with this uh, heavy duty jack plate. This is the desired engine for this boat. Uh, a 300 was the original engine offered because the 425 hadn't come out yet. But the reality is, this is the right engine for the boat. This is a big, heavy boat, over 7,000 pounds, and you need that 425 to get this thing up and going. Um, aluminum trailer, uh, torsion axles, uh, disc brakes on both axles. Um, it's a uh, Nice heavy duty trailer. Let's get on board and take a look around. Um, trim tabs, you can see it's standard with the boat, electric trim tabs. This also has the cutout and the transom here, um, allowing the boat to get into shallower water, get on a plane with uh, less draft. Let's hop on board. Have all the hatches open up in the in the front of the boat. Uh, this is our temporary storage facility. Uh, we are building at Yamaha Marine Center, are building a new dealership, and we've had to remove all the boats from the lot. And so we've rented this storage facility down the street from the dealership. So if you're going to come see a boat, um, the boat may be here at, the de at this facility, so we would um, get you set up and bring you over here to show you the boat. So I've got all the boxes open here in the bow. Um, you can see uh, the, the enormous amount of storage. So there's these boxes on either side or rod locker boxes. Uh, they also have rod storage in them. There's some rod racks. You can see in this one there's a rod rack in there. Fish box down here is plumbed to a macerator so you can pump that waste overboard. These boxes can be fish boxes also, but they, they're above the water line so they drain overboard automatically. Self-bailing, if you will. Uh, up here in the bow, the storage area also is the locker for the uh, batteries and the battery charger for the trolling motor. There's no windlass uh, on this boat. There's just an anchor inside the locker up there. Um, the bow comes with standard with uh, white vinyl cushions uh, that go on top of all these boxes. You can see the snaps around the perimeter. Step back here. Uh, there's also a flip-up backrest here. Of course, cushions would go on top of that, and you can sit up here. If you're taking the family out for the day and you're just cruising around not fishing the boat, then you can put all the cushions on. Uh, and it's this very nice white um, seal leather is what they call it. It's a silicon-based um, or silicone-based upholstery material, so it won't pink. Very durable. Um, anyway, really nice. Um, nice huge area up here in the bow. It's just enormous. Um, but as much has a feeling of a bay boat when you're on board the boat. Um, when you get down and you look at the boat from the outside, it really feels big. It's a big boat. You know, it's not going to get you in super skinny water, um, but it's a boat that'll take you offshore and uh, and do it with a lot more comfort and safety than you're going to find in most bay boats. That's for sure. Uh, Forward-facing seat, armrests that pop down here on both sides. That's comfortable. Uh, there's a cooler underneath the seat. Uh, integrated glass windshield with the vent up top, electric vent. Uh, and then all of the structure you see is incorporated into the console itself. Um, nothing going down to the deck. Nice oversized 
hard top, and of course the underside of the hard top is colored to match the whole sides. And the helm, well, let me turn on the battery switch. We'll go over into the head area, turn on the battery switch. Uh, down in there is a porta potty that comes with the boat, some life jackets come with the boat. And then as we come over here, we'll let the GPS boot up. Uh, but you've got a Garmin VHF radio over here. It's a little dirty, a little dusty, uh, with a mic here on the side. Um, the color Yamaha display there for the engine. Uh, this does have the digital steering, digital controls, which, uh, and they've also included the autopilot system with this boat. So this boat does have autopilot. And you can see that nice, get the glare off of there, you may not, there you go. Um, big 16 inch display, of course it's a fish finder also. Go in here, go to sounder, and then you'd have the sounder screen, and of course you can do combos where you're splitting the screen and doing that. Um, Fusion Apollo stereo system, really nice upgraded stereo for the boat. Uh, individual, uh, kind of individual buckets here, flip down bolsters. Uh, you've got foot rests down here that fold down. Um, and then a little glove box underneath here, and a footrest under here. Uh, the boat will come with Coast Guard gear. Basic, basic Coast Guard gear will be included in the boat with the sail. Um, in the stern, um, so you can stand up here as a casting platform, fish the boat from there, or you can open these seats up. And you can sit in there, and there. Oh, let me get this one done. There. Same thing here. Now, if you go behind here, this box, this opens up. It has a massive box that goes all the way underneath the seat. I don't know how clean it is in here. Now, it's not very clean. We'll show you that. Um, a little dirty there, but that box goes all the way underneath the seat here. So it runs from, let me turn this down runs from there all the way to the back, so big massive storage box there. Uh, and then the other really neat feature of this boat is the fact that this tilts up and you've got access to the bilge area. Something you don't see in a lot of bay boats. Um, so you can see the step in the transom there the bottom of the boat. Uh, this tube you see here with the ball valve, uh, that's a vent. That's such a large step. If you don't vent it, um, it creates too much suction and sucks the boat down to the water, makes it difficult to get on a plane. So they installed this very clever vent. All it does is go up and vent air, pulls air from the splash well area, just vents it down and so you don't get any suction when you're getting up on a plane. And then you've got easy access, a good place for, to store stuff. The fresh water, there's fresh water in the boat. That's the cable for the shower, the fresh water wand. Um, shower wand is in the splash well. Bilge pumps, of course. And then we've got a live well in the uh, base of the seat here. Some storage and some drawers there. See what I'm looking at there. Obviously, the hard top, no radar on this boat. We obviously can do radar and would be delighted to do it for you if you wanted to. So, um, the engine comes with a five year, came new with a five year warranty. This boat is not a year old. Um, it was sold in June of 2021, so um, it still has more than four years of warranty left on the engine. The full boat still has warranty that will transfer uh, until whatever the one year anniversary is, which should be sometime in July. Uh, let's see, the other thing I really like about this boat is these scuppers. Really nice, heavy duty stainless steel plate. There's a gutter here, so the water rolls into the gutter, drains out through the, uh, the two scuppers on either side of that. So helps keep water off the deck there. You can see the same thing on the other side. Extremely well thought through, heavy duty boat. So if you're looking for a bay boat that gives you more flexibility, that can legitimately and safely 
take you offshore, I would highly recommend that you consider this boat. It is a massive 26-foot uh, bay boat. Um, it is uh, a very difficult boat to get your hands on. We're a dealer for these regulators, and we have no idea when we're going to get our next stock 26. I would suspect it's probably 7 to 10 months before we'll see another one. So I hope you'll consider this boat, and I'd love to have you contact me. So if you have questions, please feel free to reach out. All right, Barton Holmes again, Yamaha Marine Center, Holmes and Everyone Yacht Sales. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.